Hey guys, King of Triminus here, and today I bring to you my best basic hammer guide, starting off with the pros and cons of the hammer. Your pros are you have high single hit damage, you can stun and KO monsters, and you have the ability to charge attacks, along with a wide variety of combos. However, that also leads us to the cons. While you have a lot of combos, those combos have large gaps where you're open to taking damage if the monster isn't stunned. It can feel slow and clumbersome at times, so the hammer is one of the slower melee weapons. And some attacks have short ranges. So hammer has attacks that have short ranges, so you might not hit all your targets. And this can be difficult to aim with your combos towards specific monster parts until you are more experienced. So it takes some time and practice before you can aim towards specific monster parts. And the hammer has a variety of weapons. For the non-elemental weapons, we have the iron hammer, which is the basic iron one, the Kulu Beak from Kuluyaku, the Carapace Edge from Baroth, the Diablo Sledge from Diablos, and the Chaos Shatterer from Black Diablos. Now for the elemental weapons, we have Poison from Blooming Hammer, which is from Puke Puke. For Paralysis, you have the Gyros Hammer from Great Gyros. For Thunder, we have Thunder Hammer for Toby Kadachi. For Water, we have Aqua Hammer from Gyrotodus. And for Fire, we have the Blazing Hammer from Anjanath. And now we have the Hammer Attack Guide. We have various combos, we're going to start with the first combo. You tap to attack with the hammer. The hammer has several combo attacks. The golf swing, the three hit combo as you see here. Two overhead smashes followed by one strong upswing. You can roll out of the golf swing combo at any time like you just saw there. And for the next combo, we have the side blow golf swing which is a four hit combo. When you roll towards your large monster, you can do one side blow and two overhead smashes. So you do a side blow before you do the three hit combo and then it ends with a strong upswing like you see here. And for your second combo, this can be continued after the 3-4 hit golf swing combo. You have the Big Bang 5 hit combo. You get two overhead smashes followed by a 3 hit Big Bang attack. So right here, smash smash, and then you continue to smash. Here's a note though, the first two hits must hit to finish the combo, otherwise you will break the combo. So you have to hit the first two overhead smashes or you will not be able to finish the combo like you see in this example here. And now we have the charge attack. So the hammer has charge attacks just like a lot of other weapons and you tap and hold to charge. So there are three charges and for the first charge we have the charge side blow. So what this does is charging once will deal two side blows that do more damage than a non-charge side blow. You can tell this by one flash. So one flash equals one charge. You can then go into the three hit golf swing combo followed by the five hit big bang combo. So when you do this you will do two of those side blows. The three hit you can do that with the three hit golf swing combo and then you can follow up with a five hit big bang combo for a total whooping total of a 10 hit combo. Next up for the hammer charge attacks, we have the charge upswing. So this happens when you do two charges. So when you tap and hold and you see two flashes like you see in this example right here, tap hold one, two, you perform a powerful upswing. That powerful upswing attack, you can also follow up with the five hit big bang. So as you see powerful upswing, two overhead smashes and then you have the three hit big bang attack combo right after that charge upswing. And you charge three times, which is three flashes, so three flashes will equal the charge big bang. Charging three times will perform a two hit big bang attack. The second hit is the strongest single hit damage you can do with a hammer. So be careful with this though, because after the second attack, it takes a second to recover. As you see, your hammer is kind of stuck in the ground. So if you don't stun the monster, you are open to an attack. So again, just be careful. For your special skill, it is the Spinning Bludgeon. This utilizes the rotational force of the hammer to deliver a shattering blow. At level 1, you're at 100%, at level 2, 105%, and at level 3, it's at 110%. This special attack will deal 6 hits with the final hit as a powerful upswing. Here's a note, you are immune to damage when you are using this attack, but you will still take passive status effect damage. For example, if you're poisoned, you will still take poison effect damage, even though you are invincible from physical attacks. So just keep that in mind. Moving on, we have the perfect evade, and there are two types of perfect evades with the hammer. The upswing perfect evade, tapping after doing a perfect evade will perform a powerful upswing attack. So as you see here, perfect evade, and then tapping once will do a powerful upswing. And you have the charging perfect evade. So you can tap and hold after a perfect evade and you will do a plus two charge attack. So for those of you that are familiar with the bow or if you are bow mains like me, you are able to plus two charge it by using, by using a perfect evade with the bow as well. So it works in the exact same way. Plus two charge after doing a perfect evade if you tap and hold. And for the one thing that every other guide seems to forget, it is aim mode. You can toggle aim mode on and off at the top right of the screen. 
Off mode allows you to center your target in the middle, so you could roll around, but your center, your target will always center in the middle. And this allows you to use lock on if you have it. So if you have the lock on skill, this allows you to use it. When you have on mode on though, this allows you to freely aim by tilting your screen. And this is for advanced players because you can recenter your aim by tapping on the reset aim. So if the great Jagus or whatever monster end up to fly off the screen, or if you have to turn a, on a curb or something like that, if you have to turn around, you can use reset aim to recenter your crosshairs. This allows you to target specific monster parts without having lock on. So without lock on, even without using lock on, you can target specific monster parts by using this mode. And for those beginners, this is a basic camera beginners build. You have the Kulu headpiece at grade four, leather mail grade two, Kulu van braces grade two, Kulu coil at grade two, Kulu grease at grade two, and for your alternates, you have to drag your smell at grade two. As you see here, this build will give you lock on and it will also give you a lot of critical eye, as well as last stand. So if you do happen to get hit, at least your defense will go up. But what this build does is it gives you lock on as well as critical eye for affinity. And thanks to the leather mail, you get level 1 to your attack boost, so you get plus 20 attack. Again, this is a basic beginner's build if you are just starting off, or if you need a basic hammer build, this build is for you. However, despite this build, we can't forget for advanced builds when we get further into it, there are hammer specific equipment skills. First off, we have Slugger, which increases stun power by 10% to 30%, depending on the level. And you also have Focus, which shortens charging time for weapons with charging attacks by 15 to 30% depending on your level. And here are my hammer tips and tricks. Charging your attacks will make you run towards the monster. So you'll see in this battle at one point I will tap and hold and I will start charging towards the Great Jagras. With that being said, be patient with your combos. I know you love the hammer, you want to Hulk smash, you want to flatten this poor thing, you want to make it into a pancake, you want to kill all monsters and just make them, yeah, break all their parts and impact and cause all the CT and break their skulls in half. But be patient with your combos. It's best to finish big bang combos when the monster is KO'd slash stunned or after you break parts. That way you can go ahead and do big bang combo damage without having to worry about getting hit. With that being said, sometimes it's better to dodge be safe with the hammer when you feel like a, monster a monster's attack is coming. So when you feel like an attack is coming, sometimes it's just better to dodge and rather than just wreck out your combo and have you to use a potion or take damage. I'm looking forward to making the advanced guy in the future to feature Knockout King, Knockout King stun builds. In the Monster Hunter franchise, the hammer is typically known as the Knockout King. And I'm looking forward to putting those builds out as well as featuring those key moments when you can take damage in between combos. With that being said, please do me a huge favor, like, subscribe, and comment for YouTube algorithm. Good luck on your grinds, and I will see y'all on the next one.